This is a message for some of the believers who have matured in the faith, who have begun to walk and communicate with God and spirit. However, there is something wrong somewhere. How soon we forget. How soon we forget the deception you were once in. How soon we forget the lukewarmness and the sin that had you bound. You've gotten to a place of spiritual maturity, but you've forgotten the feeling and the blindness you experienced when you were still of the world. So now you look at other individuals, other brothers and sisters who are still in the body of Christ, but they're struggling in their walk and they're blinded by the enemy and their ears are deafened and closed. And instead of leading them to the truth through love and through scripture, you insult them, you berate them, you belittle them. Woe unto you. Because when it's all said and done, it's through our fruits that we also bring people back to God. If your speech is harsh and wicked and you're turning people away from God because you are giving them condemnation through your words, God is unhappy with that. Yes, we know the truth is harsh, but you know deep in your heart that you are looking at them and you're saying, oh, you're blind, you know no better. Oh, you're deaf, you'll never learn. We understand that this walk with God means long suffering. And we understand that we will be persecuted. And in preaching the true undiluted gospel, people will call us liars. People in the faith will call us liars. And they may not be susceptible to hearing and understanding God's true gospel. And that's fine. But you know that as a mature believer, it is your responsibility to bring them to God in truth and in love. If you're operating in truth, but you're lacking love, you're going to chase people away from God's Bible. You're going to chase people away from the scripture, true scripture in Jesus Christ. Do not be the reason why people fall away. Let your actions not be the reason why people turn away from God. Yes, we know that not every Christian, not every believer will make it to heaven because there are going to be people who are unwilling to turn from their sin, who are able to let go of their religious traditions, who are unable to understand true gospel because they're so used to doing what they want to do. However, we're not talking about those people. We're talking about those people who are seeking truth, who are seeking God, who are seeking Jesus Christ. And because of the way in which you interact with other people as a mature believer, you turn them away from the faith. Repent today and change your ways, lest you feel the wrath of God. Because everything we do in this life, we're going to have to answer to. Be blessed.